Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's talk about Real Housewives of Orange County, episode five and episode six. So, um, I thought that episode seven was, I, I feel like they, it's like two filler episodes to one really getting into the trenches episode. But anyway, um, episode five. So we have Campfire Confessions and I feel like, Okay, I'm going to be super honest with you. I feel like this this drama between um between Taylor and Heather is sort of overinflated. You know, it's like dude, it's not that big of a deal. Just get over it. But of course, the way these things with the housewives always works is it's just like brewing in the background. So eventually it's going to go around the grapevine and it's just going to be exhaustively discussed and gossiped about and passed around and transformed and it wasn't that big of a deal to begin with again heather is a freaking professional actress if she don't want to do a movie without talking to her people first and going through a contract and all that stuff then i mean that's 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 pretty much it she put her boundary down respect it i just don't i, I really don't understand it um I love that we see Tamara with her little gold things that she puts on her eyes at night. Drew has those things as well. I wonder if they really help with the, with the, with the bags and stuff and her vitamins. So cute. Moving hay and cutting wood and like moving dung. Like again, I just feel like there was a time in Real Housewife history where all of the gimmicks just weren't needed. I feel like a lot of the stuff that we're looking at now, them on this farm, moving hay, it just seems very contrived. But again, that could just be me. And we go further into this um, drama between Jen and Tamara. And I feel like it's really funny because what's happening between Jen and Tamara is like really, really serious. You know, Jen's boyfriend said that he wanted to F Tamara, who's a married woman. No, not even he, he didn't even say I want to. He said, I'm going to F her. I'm going to F her. Like, it was like an ego type thing. Like, oh, I'm going to get her. While he was in a relationship with Jen, right? In tandem, you have this drama going on between Heather and Taylor. You see what I'm saying? It like it doesn't even hold water to this. What's going on with Tamara and Jen is like super duper serious. What's going on with Taylor and Heather is like, dude, just let it go, Taylor. Yeah, I, Shannon and and Tamara. As I've said before, I don't know if it was because of Shannon's relationship with I think Michael was his name, the one that she broke up with after filming or whatever, but. She just, she doesn't seem 100% herself. A little bit more, it seems, yeah, it seems like she's like kind of sad. I don't know, just kind of sad and removed and everything. You know, I'm not completely getting it. So, um, yeah, that's how the episode ends and... This drama between Heather and Gina, it's, I don't know, it's kind of, I mean, I feel like it's just Gina maybe is being a little bit too sensitive, and I feel like Heather's intentions were in the right place, even if they were kind of snobbly delivered, like always. So, episode six, and this is where you'll want to stop if you don't want any spoilers. So, this is we're seeing that Gina is still really hurt by what Heather was saying but again I think that Heather is is trying to encourage Gina to not be a victim I, I understand where Gina's coming from because Heather has never been divorced you know Heather and Terry have been together since Jesus was a boy so I don't really know if why am I seeing Tamara's butt so I feel like in that case she really wouldn't understand. She probably wouldn't understand on that level. Um, I realized in this episode, Jen has had a lot of work done. 
you know when she's sitting down and she's crying and like she's got that white bandana on like tears are coming down she's crying and I'm sorry that she's crying but you can literally see the makeup through her tears and um, I think it's something that's covered when you see her full head of hair but I just realized how puffed up her face looks with fillers and her lips you know it's just, I, I thought um, she seems like someone who's probably very naturally beautiful. So, I don't know, maybe she'll remove some of the fillers. I know that there is the great removal going on. A lot of celebrities are removing their fillers. Um, yeah, I thought it was pretty funny seeing the girls in the water with the white water rafting and the fishing. Uh, of course, it's always real housewife gold when you see uh, Shannon fall down. And this time she fell down <laughs> in water with a big goulash or uh, gaucho fishing pants whatever you call them um i thought it was kind of dismissive the way that tamra and shannon were acting towards heather when heather was like heather was basically like you know shannon and i had a rip when we first met which we remember that right you know where you know Somebody was like, do we need to call an ambulance? You remember that? Like 14 years ago or whatever it was. They really, like, they did a lot to get to where they're at today. And so Heather, very, I feel like, accepted, like, validly was saying, I felt a little left out. Like, it seemed like you and Tamara were getting really close and hanging out all the time. And I just felt a little left out. And I don't know. It's like empathy is, like, not in anymore. But... Like, uh, and, and Shannon, I'm, I'm remembering back to Shannon and, um, good lord, what was the one who was married to, uh, a decade ago, you know, when Shannon first came on to the show, and Shannon was so upset about this, I start charities, I just remember to just generally when Shannon came on, shouting about how she wanted people to understand her and be there for her and now Heather is asking for the same thing and she's like gaslighting her I'm like come on like what would be the nice friend thing to say is like I'm sorry I didn't mean to hurt your feelings <laughs> oh lord I just don't get it I really really don't get it and it's so bizarre because I have always thought that Heather was a huge snob but now I'm, now we're cruel Okay, anyway, I definitely liked uh, seeing Tamara and Eddie talk about the stuff with what Jen's boyfriend said about Tamara. I definitely liked seeing Eddie be so cool, calm, and collected about it like he usually is. I actually think that Eddie is a great fit for Tamara. I think that he is really what she needed. He's kind of... Wow, you know, she's just ready to pop off at any second. He's so cool, calm, and collected. I think that really balances her out. I think that Eddie is really good for her. But you see that humility and that um, just bigger personness, you know, being the bigger person in him with that. Um, I love the fact that uh, Annabelle is going on on her modeling thing. That's really, really cute. Um, Emily... I really wish that Emily could have gone on the glamping trip because I, I do really love Emily. Um, towards the end where we were talk we're watching Gina and Travis. Like even me, I am concerned that she's going to um not push Travis away, but I think that she is kind of like an emotional wreck and I think that's what Heather was trying to tell her. But I know that it's close to home and which is real pain for her because her I mean, she was in an abusive marriage, and she was just basically hiding it the whole time. So, I get how that how that can go. But, um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the bell. That way you would know whenever I post a video. And I will see you guys next time.